when you're standing at the base of the tree, it's beyond impressive. It's like looking up at a living skyscraper. Well, I wasn't the first person to actually see it, but maybe one of the first to recognize that it was a record-holding tree. So I first noticed it around 2012, right after the, after the area was logged. Right now we're by Big Lonely Doug, which is the second largest Douglas fir tree in Canada. And uh, here you can see the, the contrast between the magnificence of our ancient forests and the large-scale clear-cut destruction of our old growth forests. Uh, it's about 216 feet tall, was a measurement we got after tree climbers dropped a tape measure down from the top of the tree. 13 feet wide, so no small tree. Nobody knows how old Big Lonely Doug is, but we guesstimate probably about a thousand years old considering his size. It's important to note that uh, this was an old growth forest before, so all around Big Lonely Doug uh, were his buddies who were somewhere in the range between 400 to a thousand years old. You've got ancient Douglas firs that were cut down, ancient red cedars, some of them 12, 13 feet wide, uh, almost as big as Big Lonely Doug. And uh, now it's a sea of stumps with one big tree standing here. So it's really uh, a testimony to what's going on in the coastal forest industry where we have some of the grandest forests on earth but also one of the last uh, governments that still says it's okay to log the, the majority of what remains when there's st still so little that. It almost becomes a character that people can connect with a bit more. I think it's very similar with the gnarly tree in Avatar Grove. I think it's become such an iconic figurehead of that forest in that, this region that Big Lonely Doug is kind of the same way. People want to come here to almost be his friend and make sure he's not so lonely. Only 1% of the old growth Douglas firs on the coast still remain. So they've literally logged 99% of these old growth Douglas firs on the coast. And it should be a no-brainer now that the last of these ancient forests really need protection. It's sad seeing a tree like this out on its own, but my hope is that when people come here and visit Big Lonely Doug, that they take a moment to consider the fate of old growth forests really across the province because it's an educational tool to see that, you know, you'd think in a day and age like this that trees like this would be protected. There's only 5% of the original valley bottom ancient forest left on southern Vancouver Island. These are really like the redwoods of Canada and Big Lonely Doug was part of that, that uh, assemblage of remaining uh, ancient trees, but uh, as you can see, they've logged all around uh, Big Lonely Doug now, to the detriment not only of biodiversity and wildlife, but uh, to the detriment of tourism, to the detriment of climate stability. Um, you know, th these are important forests for so many reasons. On our website, ancientforestalliance.org, we have a Big Trees of Port Renfrew map that you can actually download and print, and it shows you how to get to Big Lonely Doug, to Avatar Grove, to the Red Creek Fir, to the San Juan Spruce. Big Lonely Doug is about 35 minutes outside of Port Renfrew. The last stretch of road is pretty rough though, so you do need four-wheel drive, or you can park at the bridge over the Gordon River and walk the last two to three kilometers up to the tree.